Hello and welcome to MathAndSciencePower.com. My name is Joe and I'll be your host. Please remember that you can help me to help you by subscribing to my channel, commenting on the videos, and rating and sharing the videos with your friends. Also remember to visit us online for a complete listing of our videos. Okay, we're working with integration by parts and number one asks, find the integral of x squared ln x dx. Now when we're doing integration by parts, we, we need to decide which factor in our integral we want to be u and which factor we want to be dv. So one factor here we need to pick to be u and one we need to pick to be dv. And then we're going to find the derivative of u and we're going to find the integral of dv. So finding which factor you want to set equal to u and which factor you want to set equal to dv is usually the hardest part of doing an integration by parts. So take a moment and see which factor you want to set equal to u and which factor you want to set equal to dv. And when we come back, we'll compare our answers and I'll take you through the rest of the integral. Welcome back to MathAndSciencePower.com. Okay, let's compare our answers. Uh, for u, I am going to set u equal to ln x. So that du will be 1 over x dx. So I set ln x equal to u, and what's left is x squared dx. So dv must be x squared dx. And v is equal to the integral of x squared dx, so the integral would be x cubed over 3. So using our formula for integration by parts, our integral will be equal to u times v, which will be ln x times x cubed over 3, so I'm going to write the x cubed first, ln x all over 3, and then I want to subtract the integral of v times du. So when I do v times du, um, I'm going to end up with this x will cancel this x to the third and give me an x squared, and that will all be over 3. So I'm going to start by factoring out this one, this 1 over 3 here, 1 third uh, integral, and x cubed cancels with the x, reduces, and we just get x squared, and then dx. So now we just need to rewrite this first part. There's nothing else we can do here. And take this integral. So 1 third times, the integral will be x cubed over 3. And one last simplification step here. We'll rewrite this. x cubed ln x over 3 minus and when I multiply the one third into here, I get x cubed over 9. And we can't forget to add c because this is an indefinite integral.